Hey guys, how's it going? So, this morning I woke up to a notification on my phone from a YouTuber friend of mine by the name of The Killer Doll. If you haven't heard of her, you should really go check out her channel. I'll leave links into the description below. And anyway, she named me in something called the YouTuber Tag. So I've got to answer 10 questions about me and my channel, and then tag three other YouTubers uh, to make them participate. Seems fun, so let's do this. Question one. How long have you been on YouTube? Specifically speaking of this channel, I started it in April of this year. I didn't actually post my first video until two months later, so technically for five months. So, let's go with that. Question two. How many videos do you have on your channel? 40 videos at the time of this recording right now. So, yeah, just a yeah, small amount. Question three. What was your favorite video to record? Actually, I have to think about that one. Probably... Probably just for one little gag, Quadrant Episode 2 was my favorite because of that little uh, gag with the vending machine and grabbing a soda. I'm not cooperating or understanding a goddamn thing you say. I want a soda. Fuck you. Magic. That was just, I felt really proud of that joke because it was like spur of the moment right off the top of my head just then and there and I ran with it. And I personally think it worked out pretty well. Other than that, probably Goat Simulator because that I just was goofing around and having fun with that one. I was like... I try to have fun with all the videos that I do, but uh, there are some that, that the fun comes a little easier than others for me. It's hard to explain, but hopefully you understand. Question four. Who is your favorite YouTuber? Markiplier and Jacksepticeye. <laughs> no, seriously, I actually do... Uh, watch Markiplier and Jacksepticeye a lot. Uh, well, not as much as I used to. I kind of throw myself into whatever project I'm working on. And that kind of... I kind of like... Z bleh, laser focus on whatever that is. In this case, it's making YouTube videos. And sometimes that actually becomes more of a burden than anything because it causes me to fall behind on a lot of stuff and like keeping up with current trends and and Get on with it. if I'm just gonna narrow down the list uh, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, and JonTron. It is what it is. That's as far as the big YouTubers go. Uh, the smaller YouTubers, I watch all my friends' uh, channels periodically. Phoenix Animus, Alpha Gamma ZX, even uh, my two new friends, uh, Kane Train and Brad Life. And yes, Killer Doll, I watch your stuff, as you may know from the occasional comments I leave on your stuff. <laughs> Um, that might not have sounded quite right. There's tons of YouTubers that I watch, whether... Yeah. Pick another YouTuber to collaborate with. Okay, I'll pick one big name and one of my other YouTuber friends. Big name YouTuber, I would probably... I would say Markiplier, just because I'd like to see what kind of stuff comes out when we're bouncing off each other because that is one thing that I still have 
to struggle with. I can't, I have a hard time coming out with the jokes on my own, but if I'm bouncing off somebody, if I'm feeding off their energy, it's just, bam, instant. So it, it's just the way things are. But uh, yeah, so Killer Doll, I wouldn't mind collaborating with you. That's probably creepy as hell, but whatever. Number six. What quote or saying do you live by? I can't really say I live by any quotes or sayings, but there is a saying that uh, I was told when I was young that I that does stick with me a lot. And people would argue that I live by that quote a little bit. And that is, go crazy now. Save your sanity for when you know how to use it. Number seven. What challenges have you faced as a YouTuber, and how have you overcome them? Overcome what? Seriously, uh, biggest challenges are... Oh god, should I go down the list? The biggest challenges I've faced is ner being nervous in front of the camera. Being nervous while recording, and... It's gotten a lot better. If you go back and watch from my very first videos to where I am now. I have improved, but I've got a long way to go before I say that I've actually really gotten better. There's the being nervous in front of the camera, being able to talk and and be quick-witted, trying to be entertaining. I'm not saying it's not fun. It is a blast, but there are some times where it's an extreme challenge to be able to stay relaxed and loose and just let things fly. I don't know, I'm just naturally a nervous Nelly. That was an alliteration. As far as overcoming these issues, it's, it's a constant work in progress and it probably always will be for me. And that's the fun of it. It's like, BRING IT ON! <laughs> and I, I just want so bad to just break away from that nervousness to be able to just, just, bleh, <laughs> to be able to say whatever comes to mind and it be right and it be funny, and that, that makes it worth it. Question 8. Where do you see your channel in the future? On the internet still, I hope. I'm really gonna be honest with you, I... As many delusions of grandeur as I have, I've read what you'd call daydreams about becoming a big name YouTuber, I... don't see that happening anytime soon. Uh, it's not that I'm putting myself down, it's that I am... obsessed absurdly realist when it comes to that, and almost to the point where I come off as negative. And that's another thing that I need to change about myself, I guess. But uh, if I put that aside and kind of dive a little bit into the realm of fantasy, I would like to... I would like to... Maybe not be as big as, say, Markiplier or Jacksepticeye or any of any of those gamers, Game Grumps. I don't think I can reach that level, but it would be nice to be relatively well known. Question nine: Why did you start your YouTube channel? I started my channel for two reasons. One being that uh, seemed like fun, and I wanted to give it a shot. See how, see how good I was, or how terrible I was. I don't. I didn't care. I just wanted to try it out, and see what happened. And the other part of that was that uh, I was getting really annoyed with my car constantly breaking on me. And for context on that, I my other hobby is uh, racing. So I build cars and 
the car I've been playing with late at the time that I started just kept having problems and I was getting sick of it. So I needed to take my mind off of it and do something completely, completely different from building cars. And that's where YouTube comes in. Question 10. What inspires you to make your YouTube videos? You know, ever since I was little, I mean, if it wasn't about cars, it was about entertaining people, being, trying to be funny, trying to, just, trying to amuse for whatever reason, whether it be just making a funny video, telling jokes, it's just something that I like to do. Now that I think about it, I've done almost all my life in one form or another. Obviously not on, not all on YouTube, but otherwise, well, there was a time when YouTube wasn't a thing. Deep down, I've always wanted to entertain people and make people smile a little bit. So, there might be some deep psychological reasoning behind this somewhere, but I don't see a shrink, so I don't know. Those were the ten questions in the YouTube tag, and now it's my turn to tag somebody else. So, who am I going to grab from my random grab bag of people I sort of kind of know-ish. I'm gonna call out the cane train, Brad Life, and channel your random. You guys have been tagged. I hope, uh, hope you guys, uh, make one of these videos. It was actually a lot more fun than I thought it was gonna be. I'd love to hear the answers to these questions from you guys. So, that's it from me. I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully. It'll amaze.